Hello, Spartan families. This is Superintendent Miller, and I'm joined today by Jess Jernigan, our Director of School and Community Engagement. And this is just a brief video to underscore some of the information that we sent out earlier this week about the start of school. And I know some of you are very excited about coming back to school. I'm talking about students. Uh, some of the parents I know are probably excited <laughs> about students coming back to school. Yes. Uh, and others are a little anxious, but uh, the purpose of this is to hopefully remove some of that anxiety and let you know the details of the planning that we've put forth to hopefully make this a very smooth start of the school year and the best year ever here in Bixby Public Schools. As you may have heard, there has been a change to our bell schedule, and that was one of the first things that you may have read in the information we sent out earlier. Uh, that change was necessitated really because of the demands on our transportation. As our district continues to grow, we're trying to serve students over 70 square miles at 10 different schools, and it's become very difficult to be able to run those routes get them turned around out to neighborhoods and get back to the next set of schools. Uh, so we worked with our board to come up with a plan to extend that transition time to one hour instead of 45 minutes. It will impact some families and we regret the inconvenience that it may cause for some of you, uh, but it really hopefully will reduce the number of delays that we have running our routes and we'll streamline the process and make it more efficient. So that's the ultimate goal but please make note of those times. It really just moved our elementary and intermediates to 750, uh, a change of 10 minutes earlier. Uh, they'll obviously get out 10 minutes earlier at the end of the day. And then for our secondary, we moved to 850 as a start time and then dismissal will be five minutes later. So please uh, make note of that. We know that transportation is always gonna be a, a big question area. Uh, about 40% of our students ride a bus every single day. Uh, we are currently working through those, those routes and we will have information to share with individual families and students by the end of next week. So please make sure that you uh, upload that app, Ride360, so that you can monitor uh, your information for your particular child. If you have any questions between now and the first day of school, call our transportation and let's get those cleared up as quickly as we can. Child nutrition, uh, we've been, I guess one of the positive things of COVID, if there's anything positive, is that we were able to take advantage of federal uh, subsidies for free and reduced lunch so that every child in Bixby could benefit from those free meals. That is over, those grants have ended. So we're back to the old way where if you do qualify for free and reduced lunch or if your child does, uh, we do need you to fill out that form. That information will be going out on August 1st, so please uh, be looking for that and fill those forms out. It's very, very important uh, and will save you a lot of money. If you qualify for free and reduced lunch, take advantage of it because that is a, a federal benefit that we have. Uh, I hate to say this word, Jess, but I know, uh, I know. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> we all wish that it would simply just go away completely. Uh, we know it's not going to. It's transitioning now from what was a pandemic into a more endemic phase of that. But we know that it's still here and individuals are still getting ill from it. They're still testing positive. But for the most part, our operations at school are going to go forward like we did two and a half years ago prior to COVID. With the one exception of what happens when somebody tests positive. The CDC guidance has not changed relative to that. So if you have a child who exhibits symptoms or gets tested and tests positive, the CDC guidance is still gonna be in effect, which means the 10 day period uh, where they have to learn from outside of school. There'll be some nuances to that and we'll share those later. Didn't wanna get into the weeds relative to that. But the other piece of that too is that we have staff and employees and bus drivers who might also uh, test positive or get sick as a result of COVID. And there's always a potential of impact on our learning structure. So we may have to pivot to distance learning. We are hoping that that doesn't happen and that we can stay in front of that and monitor our staff and employees, keep everyone healthy and safe and operate our schools 
in a way that best serves our kids. Uh, Jess, I'll let you chime in with a couple things, and I have to give Jess the credit for most of the information that's out here. She spends a lot of time putting this together with all the links. I know it's a ton of information, and so what she's trying to do is make that easily accessible for you uh, so that if um, you can find everything in one place and don't have to go everywhere to find it. So Jess. Yes, absolutely. And although I have the pleasure of compiling all of this, our departments across the district work very hard to have everything ready for families and over to me so that I can get it out to you. So definitely need to thank them as well. We have wonderful, wonderful people in every department in this district. One thing I do want to point out is we have heard from families loud and clear that there is information coming from too many different platforms. And we agree, we wanted to streamline that as well. So we've made a concerted effort at the district level to really make sure that we're using our platforms as efficiently and effectively as possible and that we are able to lessen those where we can. So we've been successful in that and we, have, we will have more information coming your way. But what I wanna leave you with today is to make sure that you have the Bixby Public Schools app on your phone. You'll find the information for that on our Facebook page, as well as in the All Things Back to School information that went out earlier this week. And we will be introducing you to some new features within that app as we move closer toward the school year. So we want to make sure we're setting you up for success and you have that on your devices and ready to go. So our sites will be communicating with you on August 1st. So you'll get all those details about Meet the Teacher, Schedule Pickup, Chromebooks, all the things. <laughs> And then uh, we will follow up as well with that routing information and child nutrition pieces that Mr. Miller mentioned. Yeah, and the app isn't just for parents. I use that app every single day to kind of figure out what's going on at each of our sites and, and uh, stay on top of announcements and that sort of thing. So it is very valuable. Please make sure that you download that app. It is your best way to stay on top of what's happening here. Uh, in a very busy school district. Absolutely, it's a great way to keep up with the great things going on. You can see the news across the district, but you can also, in one or two clicks, add events directly from our calendar, our site calendars, to your personal calendar, making it easy to keep up with all the great things going on. So speaking of great things going on, Mr. Yeah. Miller, do you wanna share kind of our vision for this oh, year and where we're going as a course. district? Well, so exciting. We are, we're very energized about the start of this school year. We think it's gonna be a fantastic year. We've hired uh, over a hundred new staff members here in Bixby, but uh, high quality individuals, teachers, administrators, support staff that are uh, bought into our mission and vision for kids. And so great things are about to happen. Uh, we are going to talk a lot about our strategic plan this year and really refocus after the couple COVID years that we have about our, our motto of learn well and live with honor as that being kind of the undergirding for everything that we do here but for both staff, students, and uh, our superintendents and district admin. We want to live by that as well. Our vision here, the one that we really want to sustain, is to be a place where every child feels empowered to learn excel and own his or her own future, his or her own future. Uh, that is critically important and every decision that we make uh, should be filtered through that vision to ensure that we're spending our money, our time, and our resources in appropriate ways to support that. Because ultimately, our mission is to ignite the potential of every single student here in Bixby. We feel very strongly that every single child who walks into our building, into our classrooms, should feel safe, comfortable, accepted, and valued. Now, admittedly, we're gonna fall short sometimes. Uh, things won't go as smoothly as we hoped that they might. Uh, there may be some miscommunications. And what I just wanna encourage all of you as family members, as parents, you know your kids better. You talk with them every single day. If you have concerns or questions, or you feel like we're falling short in any of those areas in the operation of schools, pick up the phone, give us a call, talk to your teacher, your site administrator, somebody here at the district staff, because we really are committed to fulfilling that mission of serving your child and making sure that they're valued here every single day and that they feel safe and comfortable and that we help ignite their potential to be the person that they want to be when they leave Bixby Public Schools. So uh, we look forward to that partnership with you. Again, a great year ahead of us, we hope. Absolutely. Uh, we know it's going to we be know. a great year. It really <laughs> is. 
But I uh, look forward to seeing all of you at some of our upcoming Meet the Teacher, Back to School, and some of our athletic and fine arts activities. But uh, if you ever have any questions or concerns, just give us a call. And uh, we look forward to serving you this year. That's right. All right.